Well, tomorrow a House committee is expected to vote to overturn a bill revising D.C.'s criminal code. That bill lowers sentences for certain crimes. Christian Flores explains how city leaders are slamming Congress for considering that measure, saying lawmakers are overstepping. Still, some argue the action is necessary to ensure public safety. It's really an outrage. D.C. Council member Matthew Fruman is just one of many frustrated city leaders. If Congress were to try to step in and overturn the decisions of the, the, the elected officials in another jurisdiction, there would be widespread outrage. But critics say blocking the revised Criminal Code Act is a necessary step, including House Majority Leader Steve Scalise. Congress does not approve of the City Council's radical decision to reduce penalties for a variety of crimes, including many violent crimes. The bill uh, enables rapists to be released early, and, and I don't think we should be. Uh, I don't think we should be assisting rapists, and I don't think we should be helping them get out of jail early. Former D.C. Advisory Neighborhood Commissioner Denise Krep has been vocal about the reduction of maximum sentences for violent crimes. The finger on Lady Justice has kind of tilted towards the criminals, in my opinion, and, and I'm really frustrated by that. What's your response to, you know, critics who say Congress should block the revised criminal code because of certain measures like lowering maximum penalties for certain crimes? Sentences are reduced to a level that is still above what sentences are issued today. D.C. Mayor Muriel Bowser, who vetoed the bill before council voted to override, has slammed these provisions, but she does not believe Congress should step in. The Hill should never interfere with what we do, um, but we also have to address the very serious concerns that not just I have, but people have um, about what this, this crime bill does. Bowser said she plans on introducing legislation aimed at her concerns with the revised criminal code before the congressional committee votes tomorrow. Is that something that you would be open to discussing and possibly even passing? Absolutely, I'll take a hard look at whatever is proposed. If the committee blocks the bill, it still has to be voted on by the full House and Senate before being signed by President Joe Biden. That all needs to happen before February 27th. With a Democratic majority in the Senate, council members are holding out hope this will not happen. On Capitol Hill, Christian Flores, 7 News. Well, tomorrow, members of Congress could also override another bill passed by the D.C. Council that would allow non-U.S. citizens to vote in D.C.'s local elections. Today, all 13 D.C. Council members signed a letter urging congressional leadership to stand up for the district's right to self-government. That letter reads, The District of Columbia has the right to self-govern as granted to us under the Home Rule Act. A vote against these two disapproval resolutions is a vote to protect that autonomy for the resident of the district.